Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Grammy's Nature Nugget. So glad you're here today. Come up and sit on Grammy's quilt with me. Come on up, all you guys. Last week on Monday, Pastor and I took a drive to California and we went for a cell to see our family and to celebrate our grandson's 20th birthday. It was so exciting. We were there three beautiful days. And as we were riding across the Mojave Desert, it took about five hours for us to get there. And pretty much the Mojave Desert is pretty barren out there. You could see the mountains of the San Bernardino and San Gregorio Mountains as we were headed that direction. Um, it was a clear, beautiful day on Monday. We arrived in Newport Beach about 5 o'clock and went over to Mark and Tiffany and Christian and Claire's house. So fun to see them again well and strong. They had had quite a bout with COVID in the winter months, so it was so good to see them well and strong. The next day, we went to the beach, and we went to a place called The Wedge, and it's a traditional surf spot that I can remember going to when I was in high school. Um, we immediately saw these birds running all around the water's edge. And they were sandpipers. The sandpipers run up and down the beach on the water's edge, eating and digging for food with their long beaks. Um, they look for invertebrates, which are buried in the wet sand. Um, they're crabs and worms and snails and clams, and um, insects that are buried in the water. And they, they uh, run along as the waves come in and out. And run. They run up and down, um, getting the different, digging for the different little animals that they eat. They're called shore line birds because they live on the shore of our ocean. I brought a coloring page and it says, God made the sandpipers. And you can see them almost just by looking at this drawing that they're at the water's edge. And you can see that they have a long beak and a sort of a tear drop shaped body. And they're brown on the top, brown and tan, and white on the underbelly. Um, they have long legs, and they just run constantly, just up and down the beach. You can see here that there's a um, starfish and a clam in the drawing. So have so much fun drawing that. It says, God made the sandpipers. The ocean is so big and so deep and so wide, it's as it, you can see water as far as the, as the eye can see. The movement of the water is hypnotizing with its ebbing and flowing back and forth, and it can almost put you to sleep. It's hard to fathom the amount of large and even millions of small animals that inhabit the ocean. Sandpipers are such a cute little bird and they just sort of flurry around. They're about 11 inches in length with a mid to long beak and or bill and it's used to dig in the sand. Their bills can be anywhere from a black color to orange. They have long legs to support a rather small body. They are brown and white and tan and white on the underbelly. Sandpipers usually have three to four eggs per season. We really enjoy the ocean and the sandpipers and we couldn't help but think 
that God's love is deeper and wider than even the ocean. And that is really wide. So let's just pray and thank God today for the sandpiper, for the ocean, for the beautiful mountains. It was such a fun visit. I want to thank the Lord for that. Father, thank you for the safe drive that you gave Pastor and I as we went to California to visit our family. Lord, thank you for making them well and strong. Thank you for the children here today, Lord, that listened to our little travel video about our trip and learned a little bit about the sandpiper. Lord, thank you for the ocean and the beauty of it and the majesty of it. Lord, it is a small taste of who you are. I pray that you will bless the children in Jesus' name. Thanks so much for being here today. See you next time. Bye.